Now, if looking at the Spamzilla here, Spamzilla is a tool to search for spider domains. This tool is a paid one. If you want the free approach on how to find the spider domain, you can check the link in the description below. I have several resources how you can search for free. But I'm using Spamzilla because here you can get quality expired domains. So I'm going to show you maybe you can find something for yourself to register. You see right here in the search res in the search box, I just add the perm directory so that I will have the results of the domains with directory in its name. For example, the travel directory list. So if you are able to create a travel directory, which at the moment, it's very easy to create. I also have several resources on how you can easily create directory. So for example, you decide to create a travel directory. Why we want to create in its part domain? Because you have already the advantage. You have the domain rating. And you have the backlinks already acquired. And this is an age example. This one is 12 years. So you have more capacity to rank your directory on Google. And here in GFA Scraper, if you go to listing categories overview, for example, you type in travel. So you can see here travel agency. So that's exactly the category you will list when you purchase that expired domain. This is the exact niche that you're going to list the businesses that you will be listing in that main. Another example that I would like to show you, again, another profitable directory right here, Jewelry Directory Online. So you can have the Jewelry businesses from USA or any country. Going back to Jiva Scraper, if we type in Jewelry, look at that Jewelry Store, Jeweler, all these, you can list them. So if you are ready, create the directory, you can just scrape this. Again, the tutorial is in the description, but I'm going through some example on how you create a simple directory. And I will show you how to do that for free. Because using Cloudsonnet 4.5, we can create a directory team in WordPress, which is very comprehensive, just by providing this single prompt right here, this comprehensive prompt and quite complex prompt. So the best model that you can use here is Cloudsonnet 4. I know Sonnet 4 is quite expensive. The Sonnet 4.5, which is the latest version, but I can show you how you can use that for free to create your directory team. So again, going back to some examples here, like this one, being pro directory. So I assume these are some product or if again, we go to give a scraper and type green. So you can see here, you can scrape greenhouse or green energy supplier. So these are the things you can do in that domain. We can also type in and find some businesses related to quality or taking care of the environment. So let's grab more example. This one right here, city club directory. We go to Chiva Scraper and type club. So you can have the club, nightclub, scrape all those businesses after you purchase this expired domain. And you can prompt this LLM. Again, the best one is Cloudsonnet 4.5. I'm going to show you now. So what you will do, suppose you decided to create a directory for purchase expired domain because you found your niche. To so see here, this is one example, fitness trainer directory. If you come over to Kiva Scraper Fitness Fitness Center, you can also have that. You can go to train personal trainer. I think this is the best one you can list in a fitness training directory. Spider Ming. So you'll have advantage because this is an age we can see right here is 16 year old. First thing that you will do is grab a copy of this custom prompt. Paste that to a blank notepad just like here. So you will be able to modify this configuration. So the folder name, so just have a unique folder name for your directory. So later we can vibe code this easily and it will automatically create the folder. Site title will just be the category that you chosen. So here, let's go ahead with the travel agency because this can be more profitable. You can have a lot of affiliate products such as hotel. So you can join affiliate program in hotel, get commissions, also flight bookings. Lots of opportunity here in travel agency directory and custom taxonomy. So we just have the singular form of the travel agency custom taxonomy. We will categorize it by state, team name. So we just have it the same as the title name. So the Google category will be just be the travel agency and the country will be USA. So for example, we will be scraping all the businesses in the USA. So he's the best fit for our directory. And a good thing here, this expired domain is ready to be registered. So if you click this, the domain is available. You got this travel directory list.com is available and it will cost you just $9 to register. It doesn't cost that much as long as it's already an expired domain and it's not an option. So make sure you choose the one that's already expired in this icon when you're using the Spamzilla. Now, once your prompt is ready, open your VS Code just like this. So if you don't have VS Code, just type on Google VS Code. Just install this text editor. And once you have this, go to this extension icon and search Keto Code. As you can see here in Keto Code, first you will have the free $5 credit. Once you're ready exhausting your $5 credit, it will prompt you again to get additional $20 credit. So that's total of $25 free credit using Kilo code. And here you can use any model, even the thoughts on it 4.5, which is the best model so far to do by coding. It's available for free.
Now we're gonna select this. And here, I will be acquiring my free credit now because I am low on credit and we want to complete this custom theme. So I'm just gonna click this. And here, I'm just gonna take advantage of the $20 credit. So if you don't want to tap up and it's the first time you sign up thinking you're going to have $5 credit. But if you want to take advantage and get a $20 more, just tap up $10. or I think that is actually worth the extra credit. It's just $10 so you can buy code like into more directory using this one. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. All right, now we're gonna copy all this, head back to Keto Code and paste it right there. And let's build our travel agency directory. Let's go ahead and execute this. And as you can see, started to code our custom team directory and it has these 15 tasks that needs to complete. So let's just wait for a few minutes. Now while we wait, what I'm gonna do is click this Sprite business listings. And from here, I'm just gonna choose my custom category, which is the travel agency. And I'm gonna choose United States. For this example, I'm just gonna grab the listings but you can scrape up to 10,000 at a time. But I suggest you scrape maybe 5,000 per batch to avoid any error. And you can use the offset token to scrape the second time. So when you use the offset token, it won't scrape the listings that you already captured. So this is a handy way to start your directory from small and grow up gradually. So I'm just gonna grab the sample business listing in United State of Travel Agency. Let's go ahead and do that. And you will see right here, we've got the 50 listings. So let's just download this. The listing will look like this. You don't have to modify actually anything. And you will see right here, these are all the travel agency around the uh, United States. This is just 50 listings. So again, if you want to create a real one, you may need to scrape all the travel agency so that you can easily go your directory, especially when you purchase that expired domain. So the cleanup that we're going to do here is just here in the address region. I will show you why. So first, enable the filter, which is right here. Click this filter, and we're gonna sort this ascending order. This is what I was telling you. There are some state name in shorter version, so you don't wanna do that. We want the full name of the state. MO is Missouri. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. So that's what we're gonna name the state. So we're gonna correct the name right here. So we're just gonna copy that. Make sure you save the listing, and you apply that to all the shorter version state name. This is a bit of work, but that's okay. It will be easy, especially when you sort this by ascending order, order. You will see all the states that's in shortened version and you can easily modify that. Make sure you save this. We will use this listing later. I will show you how you can easily port these listings in your server. And guys, you will see right here, our directory is now complete. We just spent 0 0.51. So with that free $20, we will be able to create at least 30 directory, different type of niche. So it's really worth getting that $20 free. Now, to see whether it's working, what we need to do is investigate the files here. If they're all complete, I think thing is here. Earlier, I generated a hero section image that we can put in the hero section at the top of our home page. We're gonna save this. And here, you drag that to asset folder. So once it's inside asset folder, make sure you rename this as hero dash section. This is the file name that's to be recognized in our ROM. Now, we need to compress this to be able to deploy this to server. So I'm going to right click this and click reveal in finder. And from here, I'm going to right click and compress this. Once we have the compressed file, go to your server. So assuming this is your web server with your expired domain already registered. Let's say you've purchased this travel directory release.com and you connected that to your server. So from your dashboard, the first thing that you will do is upload the theme just by going to appearance and click themes and click this add theme. Now we're going to click this upload theme. And this one, just simply drag it right there and click on install. Now let's activate the theme. Looks to be working. Now, the second thing that you must do is install these two important plugins. Click this add plugin. The first one is ACF. So here, just type ACF and install these advanced custom fields and then click on activate. All right. So going to ACF menu right here, click the field groups. You should be able to see the sync available. Now, this is just a one-time setup. Just click this import. All right, now our custom fields are in our WordPress. What we just need to do now is import the listings that we are working on earlier. This one, make sure you save all the changes that you did here in the state name. Can to import that, install this custom plugin that's available in the description below. So click this and click add plugin. Now we're gonna upload the plugin. It's in the description below, so you just need to download that. So that is the XLSX to custom post importer. Install it and now activate the plugin. So to access that, go to tools and here in XLSX importer, we're gonna upload the XLSX file that we scraped from Jiva Scraper. This one right here, click on upload in parse file. 
and select the travel agency custom post type load fields. So from here, just map the content to attributes and the featured image to main image, just like that. And here in the ATF, you don't need to do anything. They're mapped up by default. Just scroll down to this taxonomy mapping. So here, we're going to choose the address info region. So we will categorize it by region. That's why we fixed the naming convention of the state. And here we're going to choose this. And our children categories will be city. And again, choose states. Uh, that's it. That's all you need. Click start import. So we just need to wait for a few moments. Even if you're importing 1,000 or 2,000 listings, just keep this open. Once it's all completed, you will be prompted that all the results are done just like this. Now we're ready to view our directory. Let's click visit site. And there you go. Our hero section email image. We just need to use the opacity of the hero section background. But look at this. This is the browse travel agency by state. So you can also select the state here. For example, Georgia. And it will load uh, all the cities within Georgia right here. So we click on California because we all, only have 50 listings. So there won't be much. But in reality, if you're going to import the real data, there are thousands of them. So let's go to Florida. And you will see if that one agency in the city and also from the home page you can check this popular travel agency around usa so you will see these listings right here let's check one of them for example this tahoma travel this is the display of the actual listing you will see all the information right here about the agency you'll have the address you will have the contact information you will also have the actual website and if the description is available it will be in, in the about we have also the rating and the reviews right here we have the nice breadcrumbs and you can go to state level view and you will see all the cities in Washington state, for example. You will only see few data because again, as I'm saying, we only have 50 listings. So that's how you're going to do that. Really simple steps. So we use Sonic 4.5 to complete the WordPress theme and you can also add your latest articles here. We have a nice footer right here. So just to show you the actual directory that's already put it in the main, for example, this one, toilet-australia.com. So you'll see this is a Google AdSense approved. So we are monetizing this via the state ads and we have all the public toilets listing around Australia. So you can see a browse by state. And if you are wondering how you can add the image of this in each state, so for example, on this one, we just need to install this plugin with the dashboard and click plugins, click on add plugin. Here, you just need to type this one right here, categories, images, and you will see right here, this plugin, click on install and activate that. This is going to be a manual work guys, so, but this is work if you're able to complete all the images of the state. Let's say you go to travel agency and click states. You just add this image for the parent category, which is the state. Do not add for cities, it will be a lot of work, but you can ask your VA if you have virtual assistant to do that. You can pay them a small amount of fee to complete. It's not very hard to do. So for example, you want to add an image for California. You just need to click on edit and upload an image for California. For example, I just grabbed this image from Google. And here I'm just going to browse that and click on update. So when you go back to the site and look at this, California has now the featured image. You do that for all the pairing categories, which are the states. I know it's a bit of work, but if you're working with United States, it's just 50 states. And if you're working with the Australian country, it's just eight states, so it won't take you much time, guys. But it's worth the work because, as see, it's much nicer to see with the featured image of the parent directory. I um, think that's about it. All the resources that I showed you, including the custom awesome pack right here, GIF scraper, and the custom awesome plugin that we use here, all the links in the description below, so you can access that. That's about it. Leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you think. See you in the next one.